Hey everybody, welcome to another lesson of learning Japanese. Today we're going to cover how to say I want X or we want X. And X here is just going to be an object that we want, such as we want candy or I want a new car, something along those lines. And in order to express this desire of an object, we are going to use the grammar pattern X ga hoshi desu. And here the variable X is going to be that object that we want, the candy, the car, the blah da blah da blah. Hoshi is going to be the word that expresses that desire and des is just ending the clause or the sentence. Now a little more in detail about the word hoshi, this is actually an E adjective and it is conjugated as such, but even though that is the case in this grammar construct, it kind of acts more as a verb in its structure because this is saying I want X and want in English would technically be a verb, but here in the Japanese language, hoshi is going to be an e adjective and it's kind of just acting as a verb. So now we're gonna do what we usually do and we're just gonna jump into some examples to get a better idea of this. For our first example, we have the very simple sentence, Watashi wa inu ga hoshi desu. And this sentence means I want a dog, literally. And if we break the sentence down bit by bit, first up we have watashi, which is me. We have the wa particle, marking me as the topic of the sentence. We have inu right after that, which means dog. We have ga, which is marking dog as the subject. We have hoshi, which is going to be, again, the e adjective acting out as the word want. And we have desu to end the sentence. So all together, watashi wa inu ga hoshi desu is I want a dog. For our next example sentence, we have another simple one. We have keiki ga hoshi desu, and this is I want cake. This is literally the same exact sentence with the sole exception of taking out watashi wa and replacing inu with keiki, which is cake. So here we just have keiki, we have ga, and then we have hoshi, and then we have desu, so I want cake. And notice here how even though the watashi wa is dropped from the sentence, we do get the implicit meaning that this is me, the speaker, who wants the cake because it is just implied that way. For our next example sentence, we have a more complicated one. We have inu ga hoshikata desu ga ima wa neko ga hoshi desu. And what this sentence is saying is that I wanted a dog, but now I want a cat. If we break this sentence down bit by bit, we see that the first clause is very much similar to our first example. First up, we have Inu, which is dog, we have ga, which is marking the dog as the subject, we have hoshikata, and this is going to be the past plain form of the E adjective hoshi. So instead of saying I want, this is going to be I wanted. So after hoshikata is des to end the clause, and then we have the particle ga, which basically means but. So for the first part of the sentence, we have inu ga hoshikata desu ga. And so this means I wanted a dog but. And now we move on to the second clause of the sentence, which is ima neko ga hoshi desu. And here we have ima, which is now. We have neko, which is cat. We have ga, again, marking cat as the subject. And then we have hoshi, and we have desu. And this is just the regular form that we know for this grammar pattern already, the present tense. So now I want a cat. So all together, inu ga hoshikata desu ga ima neko ga hoshi desu. And this is I wanted a dog, but now I want a cat. For our next example sentence, we're going to get a bit more complicated. We're going to use hoshi, but we're going to use it in its negative past tense form, and it's going to be polite. So for our sentence, we have sore wa hoshiku arimasen deshita. So the first thing, of course, to note here is that when we're doing the negative, we see that the negative scope comes in, and the ga particle that would have been used to apply to the object that we wanted, it turns into the negative scope, and that's going to be wa instead. So because we're saying I did not want, or I do not want, either of those cases, we would use wa instead. Instead of ga. So if we break down the sentence bit by bit, first up we have sore, which is that, and then we have wa, and then we have hoshiku arimasen deshita. And that whole part right there is just the conjugation of hoshi into the polite negative past tense. So all together we're gonna have I did not want that. We know that hoshi is an e adjective, so when we're conjugating it, it's gonna follow the guidelines of an e adjective. So for hoshi, we drop the final e, we add the ku. We add an arimasen after that to make it negative, but we also want to make it into the negative past, so we add deshita after the arimasen. So all together we have hoshiku arimasen deshita, and that is did not want in the polite form. And we attach that to the first two words, which is sore and wa, so all together it's I did not want that. So for our last example in this section, we are going to ask a question. We're going to ask 
what do you want? What exactly is it that you want? And to say that, we are going to say, Itai nani ka ga hoshii ka daro ka? And this question is actually pretty darn assertive because we've actually added another grammar pattern to it to emphasize the uh, extremity of the interrogation. And this question can basically be translated to something along the lines of, what on earth do you want? Or what exactly is it that you want? You can see how forceful the interrogation in this question is. So that is a thing to note. So now let's break down the sentence bit by bit. First up, we have itai nanika, and nanika here basically just means what. When we add itai before it, it makes it more forceful, so you could kind of translate it to what the heck. Uh, then next up, we have ga hoshi, which is just part of the grammar construct that we should be familiar with now. It just marking nani ka, which is what, as the subject, and then we have hoshi, which is want. After hoshi, we have ka, and then we have daroka, and the ka here is just making this into a question, and the daroka is added at the end because it is used in line with the itai at the beginning of the sentence, so you don't have to worry about those two uh, things at the front and the end of the sentence right now because that is a different grammar pattern that we'll get to eventually. So if we combine all this together, it's basically, what the heck do you want? And again, it's a question, a pretty forceful one. However, even if we didn't have that extra grammar construct of itai uh, and daroka, which makes it much more forceful than it really should be, even if we didn't have it that way and it was a much more serene question of just saying, oh, what do you want? That would still be construed as being too assertive. So depending on the people that you're addressing and whether or not you need to show them respect or not, it's best to consider if you are really uh, allowed to use the question form of this grammar pattern towards certain people. 